loving me I loving you Mothers and fathers Husbands and wives Sisters and brothers Friends for life Won't live in the past All I wanna do now Is making it last How can a knowledge of the science of the gut-brain connection impact our relationships? That's the focus of our conversation this time around. Welcome to Make It Last Podcast. I'm your host, Noreen Delano. It's all about helping us to have better relationships, not just with ourselves, but with other people. And I'm having this, I'm about to have this conversation with Dale LeCure. Welcome, Dale. Thank you so much for having me, Noreen. It's a pleasure. Dale is a holistic mental wellness advocate, and she's been in the health and wellness industry for 14 years. And she she focuses on the things, ladies and gentlemen, that help to deal with our mood, anxiety, all of those different things. So, you know, we're going to be having an interesting conversation. Now, what is this whole idea of a gut brain connection, Dale? So, yeah, it is really an interesting concept, and it really is has been scientifically proven that the gut is the second brain. Uh, many of the, the neurotransmitters are created in the gut. For example, everyone's heard of serotonin. Everyone has heard of dopamine. They know that those are their feel-good chemicals. Those are the things that get, keep them motivated. Um, and all of those, well, 90% of serotonin, 75% of dopamine are actually created in the gut. So if your gut is out of whack, which most people it is, um, you're not receiving those messages from the gut to the brain. So that's the reason that they know now scientifically that there is so much, um, so much depression, so much anxiety, low mood, um, people just not being able to focus is because that gut is out of whack and those neurotransmitters and signals going to the brain are just not happening. So how do we get them to be functioning at the optimum level? So then it then positively impacts our relationships. Right. So when we do what's called gut rebalancing and we provide the body with specific targeted, scientifically proven um, probiotics, prebiotics, phytobiotics, and psychobiotics, that will replenish the gut bacteria that's when those signals will start firing again. And when you are feeling, having better mood, you don't have anxiety anymore, you're able to focus, you feel motivated and happy for life, that's going to impact the relationships in your life, without a doubt. How, 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 do, I use, how do I rebalance? So you, rebalance mm-hmm. means really start to um, pay attention to the foods that you're eating, okay. to repopulate, like I said, repopulating the gut with specific um, probiotic strains that have been clinically proven to do that. Um, that's how you get things back in balance, you know, drinking more water, eating really clean, um, eating gut-friendly foods, mm-hmm. but also like and the targeted supplementation is really the key to getting the gut microbiome back in balance. I know you've been enjoying the conversation, but we're going to take a little break and get a word from our sponsor. Does your business lack branding and having difficulty realizing your vision? Look no further. Splint Brand Design Consultancy specializes in developing personal and business brands. Services include strategic management, website creation, social media branding, and more. Visit them online at www.wearesplint.com. Splint, the brand you need to succeed. I'm not even going to say that somebody is listening because I'm listening, I'm saying, but some of what you're saying, Dale, is usually on the more expensive side of things? What would be your reaction to some? And given the different, I mean, because whichever economy you're in, you know, I find that health, health, trying to, to do things that would have you doing the organic food and, the, you know, being, being more conscious of that, it's usually more on the expensive side. What would be your reaction to that? I would say that there is no price you can put on, feeling well, being more vibrant, having healthy relationships. 
I just, I don't see there being a price that you can put on that. <laughs> so, I mean, in terms of eating organic, I think that if people, people can find a way to cook whole foods as opposed to going and, you know, fast food type of things, that the, the price is quite comparable. Um, and a lot of people are doing, you know, supplementation because they know that we really can't get everything that we need from mm-hmm. the foods that we eat. Mm-hmm. And when you feel better, you're a lot more productive. So it kind of, you know, you'll create more in your life if you're feeling good. Well, That's how I see it. <laughs> okay, okay. Any personal examples? I mean, that, you know, before you, you did this, I know that you've done this. Yeah. This is what is now happening. Any personal example, if not from you or from other persons that you know, I'm because sorry, people say that again, no, some Colleen. people will still know the science of something. I know that it is scientifically proven, but unless there's somebody in front of them or somebody in their neighborhood that they can actually, you know, say yes, this is what they did because they changed their diet. They started eating raw foods. They started doing this, you know. Then maybe I will consider it. So you know, do you have any of that to share with a? you are somebody who you know of who actually made a diet change or made a lifestyle change that. Oh, absolutely. Yes. I have a private group on Facebook called mental wellness warriors. And in that group, you will see hundreds and hundreds of stories of people that basically have their lives back because they were, they were so depressed. They had no, they were having anxiety issues, depression issues, lack of energy, hormone imbalance, autoimmune things, all, you know, just everything. Everything really goes back to um, in the, the gut, basically. Everything, 80% of immune cells are in the gut. So there's many, many stories. And I invite people to come and look at those stories and see for themselves. Um, children you know, had focus issues, ADD, ADHD, who are now able to focus, who are now scoring 90s on tests when they initially couldn't sit still for five minutes. You know, So change is possible, and change does happen. And I can show you, you know, many, many, many stories, along with you know, documentation, clinical studies that have been done mm-hmm. um, on specific, this specific supplementation. Um, that will show you an increase in mood, a decrease in anxiety, a decrease in depression, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I noticed, I noticed that earlier and I, as, yeah, I noticed earlier you said some gut and I like that term gut healthy foods. What are some of the foods that you'd recommend? So gut healthy foods would be fermented foods, um, artichokes, um, Kombucha is good, uh, kefir is good, yogurts, um, things that are fermented. Things that are unhealthy gut foods would be an excess of dairy, an excess of meat. Um, vegetables are also something, of course, everyone knows the green leafy vegetables are really great for the gut, you know, and overall health. So alcohol is something that is not gut healthy, sugar of of any kind is going to create more bad bacteria in the gut, which is the opposite of what we want. Um, uh, There's those foods that are healthy for us and and those that are not. And I think we all know what's good for us and what's not. Um, And, you know, moderation, of course. Um, People don't want to, like, never, ever have any sugar or never, ever have, you know, a glass of wine or whatever it is. So there's always that balance issue. Um, But when you start feeling better, what I notice a lot is people's cravings change and their desire for certain foods change. So, like, the healthier you become, the more energetic you become and the less uh, um, less you want to grab those quick sugars that are going to give you that quick energy, but then have you come crashing down. I know you've been enjoying the conversation, but we're going to take a little break and get a word from our sponsor. For all your events, such as educational forums, workshops, book launches, weddings, and more, contact Noreen Daly, the ultimate MC and event host. Visit NoreenDaly.com or follow her on Instagram at Noreen Daly Jam. Noreen Daly, creating long-lasting memories. You've been talking a lot, though, about 
you know, gut rebalancing and you mentioned the whole idea of, of, of having gut healthy foods. What are some of these gut healthy foods? I think, you know, f- first, let me just focus a little bit on sugar because sugar is one mm-hmm. of those things that the more you have it, the more you want it. And the less you have it, the less you want it. So those are one of those foods that is just extremely addictive mm-hmm. um, and not, not gut friendly at all. Um, and not blood sugar friendly at all, and just overall can cause a lot of inflammation in the body. So and and to, and really disease. So the more sugar you have, the more acidic, the more inflamed your body becomes, um, and that is a that is a you know an environment for disease to thrive is when you're in that acidic type mm-hmm. of environment. So I, I think that's the most important thing in mm-hmm. terms of going to focus on something. Focus on really reducing your sugar intake um, first and foremost. And okay. then, like I said, the more you reduce it, the less you want it. And then the less you want it, the less you want it. You know, it just continues on from there. Um, as far as, like, meat and dairy, mm-hmm. I say moderation. I say, you know, maybe a, a few times a week. Um, you know, anything where you're, like, eating that thing every single day, mm-hmm. probably a good idea. Our body likes variety. Um, and we get different nutrients from different foods. So mix it up. Mm-hmm. You know, mix it up. If you're eating red meat every night, probably not a good idea. If you're eating chicken every night, probably not a good idea. Throw some salmon in there. Throw mm-hmm. some other, you know, maybe vegetable type, you know, beans and things mm-hmm. of that nature. Mm-hmm. Beans mm-hmm. like that. Is it, is, it, would you, is it recommended to be taking s- certain supplements for certain concerns or is it better to find a supplement that would cover just about everything? Hope I'm understanding what you're asking. Right. So Mm -hmm. I like, you know, I like to cover all my bases. So I like to get, um, you know, a really good multivitamin, um, vitamin D, especially now as we head towards the winter months, Mm -hmm. um, is, is really, really important and can also impact our mood in a big way. We know that many people, I think the statistic is 85% of people are vitamin D deficient, um, and they know there's a huge link between vitamin D deficiency and depression. So in the winter months, definitely an extra supplement of vitamin D. Um, Zinc is another one that is really important for immune function. So right now with this Mm -hmm. whole COVID People adding that zinc onto their regimen along mm-hmm. with that multivitamin. And then again, um, keeping your gut healthy because that's where, you know, the immune system cells are. 80% of our immune cells are in the gut. You want to make sure that the gut is healthy so you have good digestion so that when you do eat something, your body is able to assimilate it and absorb the nutrients from the foods. Uh, a lot of people have, you know, acid reflux or they're constipated or, mm-hmm. you know, think this. This is going to affect not only your gut health, but just your overall yeah. Um, body. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, as we're winding down with with all of this, it then impacts on our relationships. How? No question about it. No question about it. If you're not feeling well, you know, you're not pleasant to be around. <laughs> you're snapping. You're at your spouse, you're snapping at your kids, you're irritable, you're not sleeping well, you know, your energy is low. How could you possibly um, be in, be a joyful partner? <laughs> it's yeah. just, it's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, we're, we're going to hope that when people leave, leave our, our space, our, our, when, when, when they've, they're, they're left feeling energized rather than drained. And there are some people that when, when you're around them, you really feel drained rather than feeling energized. Oh, absolutely. Yes, you can, you can feel the energy. And nobody really wants to be in the company of someone that's really down. Yeah. You know, it's, it's difficult because it, that drains you. So if you can become, you know, more healthy, more joyful, you know, then you can bring your gifts because everyone has their own gifts to bring you know, to the people in their lives and people are going to want to be around you and they'll be inspired by you to also become better and bring out the goodness in them. Yeah. Yeah. Men, what whole holistic 
mental wellness advocate, Dale LeCure. That's the person we were talking with this time around. Thank you so much, Dale. Thank you. Thank you, Noreen. I appreciate it. This was Making It Last Podcast. I'm your host, Noreen Daly. Until next time. Loving me, I loving you, mothers and fathers, husbands and wives.